Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to get text into shapes in Inkscape by using the flow into frame effect. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the like and subscribe below as that does keep motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you haven't already, go on over to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. Today, I was thinking around with Inkscape, trying to show you guys some different tutorials on how to fit text into shapes, uh, which I'll have some more videos coming out on that, and stumbled upon a really cool feature, which is called Flow into Frame in Inkscape. And what that does is it allows you to take a bunch of text and flow it directly into a shape. So I had actually went and posted this on the Facebook group and a bunch of you said, hmm, I don't know how to do this. Definitely interested in learning more. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an example of that. And of course, if there's anything that you guys want to learn Inkscape wise, please let me know. Um, I have just gone through and learned as much as I can about it to create really easy, simple to use SVGs. So with that being said, I'm going to head over to my computer screen and we'll get started. So I'm gonna show you this example, which just to let you guys know, this was the example, what in the world? <laughs> okay, my screen just went black for a second. This was the example that I showed in my group and was like, hey, everybody, do you wanna check this out? And a bunch of you said, yes, absolutely, I do. And so I want to show you how did I did this uh, very quickly and then show you um, also how you can do this as well. So I went ahead and typed out, um, Ed Sheeran's lyrics for Perfect. Um, and this is what I'm gonna be using. And for some reason, Inkscape is losing its gosh darn mind right now. So hopefully that will not be the case on the video. Computer monitor is losing its mind, but it is not showing up in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. Um, you click on your text and you click on your heart and you're gonna click on text flow in the frame. And as you can see, again, all of the text is going to flow into the frame now. I have clearly messed around with this, so it does look as good as it does. Um, and I just did that by clicking on the text and modifying the spacing between the letters and the spacing between the words. Now, obviously this does not fit the entire heart shape. So I plan to add in some little flourishes and things down below. But the nice thing is, is once I move this heart away, the text is there and it is in that heart shape. And it just looks really cool, right? So um, it's definitely like a really awesome idea for a printing cut or some sort of wall art or things like that. So, you know, if you are in the wall art printables uh, category or things like that, and your focus is weddings or anniversaries or anything like that, this is like a really cool idea for people to utilize. Just be very mindful of copyright and trademark. Um, it would be really cool. Like if you did a personalized listing and you did somebody's wedding vows that they wrote in something like this, um, it would just be like a cute, like really cutesy tootsie touch to somebody's like, home decor. So um, I just I just thought it was a really cool method. So you can do this with any shape. Now, when I was doing this, I had imported this heart from um, another program and I actually had to have the edit pass by node selected when I did flow into frame. And if you want to unflow it, you just click on text and you go to unflow. Um, so I noticed that when I clicked on the text and then selected the shape, if I went to text flow into frame, it didn't work. I actually had to have this edit pass by node selected. And then when I clicked on text flow into frame, um, it worked fine. And of course now it's not gonna work for me, is it? There we go. And I had to have this selected as I selected both and it flowed in just fine, okay? So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Um, with another shape. So I'm just going to do a basic circle. And I'm definitely going to change the color of this because it's very bright. Okay, so I just did a quick Laura Ipsum um, text and I'm going to increase the font to like 16 and I'm going to make it bold so it's just like a little bit brighter. Um, and then again, I'm going to keep my text selected. I'm going to click on the circle. I'm going to go to text and I'm going to click on flow into frame. And you can see how that text is just going to flow right into the frame there. So what I'm getting at is you can do this with any shape. 
You can do it with any bit of text and it's just something that can work for you very quickly if that's something that you're looking to do. So it's a very quick and easy method for you to fill text. So that is how you use the flow in a frame. You can get any of your text into a shape, okay? And it can be any type of shape. It doesn't have to be just a circle or a heart. It could be a star, it could be anything. It could be any other type of SVG with a weird shape. So with that, let me go find an SVG silhouette shape. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm going to find one. Okay, so I just pulled in this ballerina really quickly just to show you guys that you can do the same thing with any type of SVG shape. All you do is select the text, select the SVG shape, go to text, and just click and flow into frame. And again, you know, you can mess with the font size. You can make it like ridiculously small so that, you know, you can get like a bunch of words in it and you just continue to repeating whatever that is, um, you know, and then you can mess with the... Um, space in between your letters um, to to make it more succinct or whatever you may need to do okay so just keep that in mind as you're going through you mess with these um, options here and that's really going to give you some different flavors of you know um, what you can do and how you can fit the words in there so really that's all I have to go over for this really cool technique um, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to go ahead and record the video on how to use the envelope deformation in shapes um, and then go ahead and wrap the video up. So we'll go into envelope deformation in just one second. Okay, so I have a heart here and I have this word love and I want to fit it into the heart. Now, this is just going to be one example of how you can utilize this function, okay? So you want to make sure that your path is um, now a path. Your text is a path, so make sure you're checking for your notes, okay? And then you're going to go to path effects. So to do that, just click on path and go to path effects. Um, and this window will open and then just click on the plus button. And I've already started searching for this, but you're going to want to search for envelope deformation, okay? And you're going to click on that. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up these options here. Um, and I don't tend to do the left and right paths because we're pretty much, you know, where we need to be. So I usually uncheck that. And then you want to go ahead and edit your words on your canvas. So you can click on the top bend path and that's going to show you this right here. And you're just going to want to drag these nodes carefully up to the top of your shape. And you can double click and add um, additional nodes in here and kind of Manipulate it a little bit more and we'll go ahead and get the bottom bend path situated and then you'll see that I have this right here as the end product, but I don't know why this went all wonky <laughs> like Check my nose out here. I don't know why this went all wonky at the end here. But anyways Once that's done you would just click on object the path and then you can click on each of these and you can edit the nodes. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these three. Again, I don't know why they went ahead and like got all crazy like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring these in. Um, and then you can just go in and kind of edit the nodes to make it fit however you want it to fit. That's just another way that you can utilize a tool in Inkscape to edit your text on a shape so you can kind of just get it fit in there. That envelope deformation tool really works well um, when you're trying to just kind of like modify text. And then obviously when you're all done, you can kind of just go through and move the nodes around like letter by letter. And just to show you real quick, like say you wanted this L to be like a little bit more poofed out or whatever, you could do that. Um, you could like move this out a little and then select these other nodes and have them all come together if you didn't want it to be look so weird. But basically like what I'm getting at is you just want to like mess around with the notes so it can like fit into whatever shape it is. So, so it's a little bit painstaking, I guess you could say, but it works. Okay, so those are two different ways that you can modify text to fit into a shape. You can use float into frame to get a lot of text into a shape, or you can use the envelope deformation tool to kind of mold your text into the shape that you're trying to get the text into. Um, if you guys are looking for some more advanced techniques with like multiple words, and a shape, uh, throw some examples up on the Facebook group and I'm happy to show you how you can accomplish that. 
Um, so that's all I got. If y'all got anything out of this video, please go ahead and click on like, subscribe below as that does keep you motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you haven't already, head on over to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. If you have a comment or a question, feel free to drop a comment in the comments box below. And if you don't have anything else, I will catch y'all on the next video. Have a good one.